Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today we are going to be designing a cover um, page sort of okay inside of Canva and this is going to be a minimal design and with the same concept you can use that to design your presentation cover pages, you can use that to design your um, you know your website, the home page for your website if and only if you want to have a minimal design on your website. Okay, so if you want to join me to design the same thing that you can see on my screen right now all i can say is stay tuned and i will be back back after my intro all right so the first thing i'm going to do is to click on create a design and um, this time around we are not going to be using the 1080 1350 blah 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 we are going to be using 1920 by 1080 okay and with this um, you can choose the presentation okay option we have over here or video you can choose any of them so i'll just choose video okay and um, it will create um, a blank page but i have it opened over here so i just click and close one of them okay so the next thing we're going to do is to come into photos in photos you can see i already searched for autumn so you can choose you can search for spring you can search for winter depending on what you want to use okay and in the photos there are so many photos i am seeing over here but i will go for this leave right here so i right click on my leavey photo <laughs> and i just set the image to background i set it as a background okay then the next thing i'm going to do is to press r on my keyboard for rectangle then i click on the color and change it to white so i resize it okay then i start by dividing it into two okay so you can see once um it divides equally it snaps to the center it, there's um, a purple line that also comes along you can see that there yeah. so i leave it this way then i press t on my keyboard for text and i would want to use the word auto t u m n okay so auto then i increase the size and I make it bigger but you can see that i want a u t to be just text and this one would be something else so i just move my you know my my ship somewhere here nice one now what we have to do is we are not going to just use this but we'll be using text frames and all of that okay and um, initially when when i was trying to make this so what i did was i searched for our frame okay and um, i got so many variations and the reason why i did this is um i tried searching for other things trying to get the text frame and i wasn't getting but once i used our frame i was able to get different variations so we can see we have these ones over here i like this one so we have the april fat face that the name of the text okay so i can just search for april fat face okay so this time around i want you mn that's all i'm looking for so i just um, search and see if i find the u m n so i've been able to find the m but there's also a small m over here and a small n okay and um, with the m i'm only finding the capital but no small uh, yeah there's no small one okay so it means that um i can use the u and the m i also choose the small m and the small n all right then i just move all of them here like also click on my text come here and search for able fat face like i did earlier on all right okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll just delete the u m n okay okay all right all right okay so then i can position it here you can see how it's looking right now okay so we start with the u so I bring the U here and I minimize the size of the U. Okay. Then my M also comes here. M here. And the N also comes here. Okay. So this one also can also be a small U in T. Okay. So that we're able to keep things very clean so a u t u and you can see that it just looks smaller so you select all three let me give some spacing okay 
and I select them and I make it smaller so that it looks beautiful okay yeah I select this and also bring it closer a bit and now select all of them using shift and I make it bigger okay so I click on my rectangle and I move it here like this hold this and change the color to white okay and um, it would be nice to have some shadow so come to effect shadow and um, we'll change the color of the shadow first of all to maybe a gray okay then we come into the offset minimize it so that it the shadow gets closer to the text and increase the blurriness of it okay depending on how visible you want your shadow to be you can even use a black color okay so if you use a black color you can see now it becomes more visible all right all right then come back into your photos and um, click on this okay so but this time around i'll make it the same size bigger okay and i'll move it into my um how do you call it? i move it into the view then i just increase the size and make sure the size you know you are making it the same size as what we have over here so you can see how it's looking right all right then we bring it again make the size bigger move it into the m click and drag it to make it bigger okay so we have something like this we can move it here okay somewhere then we have the end also over here so i do the same click and um, i click on my image and i make it bigger okay then i move it into the end double click and still make it bigger okay so this is what we have at the moment so the next thing I'm going to do is just add some, you know, some few things. So I press C on my keyboard and I can just type 17, okay? Autumn 17 or Autumn 11, depending on what you want. And I'll change the text to uh, Montserrat, okay? Montserrat, extra bold. And I have it, you know, somewhere here. And I make the color white, okay? yeah then um, over here i add another text okay position it here that i can just write here is okay let me just put october okay and i double click then i duplicate instead not double click i put this here october november okay and maybe december Okay, so do you see so this is the idea let me lock my ship i select all three of them make sure they are positioned well and i change the color to gray so select the color come and choose the gray okay but with this gray i would select and select this one as well with the november come to transparency and okay take it so you can see how i uh, hope you get the idea of of all of this okay this is just like a, a very simple design and i come into my element and i select the triple dot so T -R -I -P -P -L -E -D -O -T. if you are not getting the triple dot i can see i'm getting so many funny things so i can also press l on my keyboard select the style and come to the dots okay then i can come to the weight and increase the dot then i can decrease it just till i get just three i just want three okay so that's what i have at the moment then i can move it also over here and maybe with the size you can reduce the size so i'll just decrease the transparency a little bit so that we can have something like this so you can see this is a very 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 cool design and um, what you can also do okay in this kind of situation is that if let's say you want to have 
some text you know a little bit of description you can just do that so let me just pull this here and i'll search for dummy text generator okay and i just copy some okay, some small words over here i copy and i can close this up come here and paste okay so we have this over here so i minimize the size and i can position it somewhere here okay so something like this is very cool or we can change the font i would use uh maybe the same ones right maybe um this is a regular ones right so i would use that okay and now uh, just leave it here you know the text shouldn't the text itself shouldn't be a lot it's just something small right okay so you can see what we've been able to do here and um yes this is what I wanted to teach you how to create inside of canva so this is what i wanted to show you how to create in canva and i hope you found this um tutorial helpful and yes just in case you want more videos like this i have more on my channel more canva related content so the name is benjamin and i will see you in my next video